couple years ago, I became aware that there is a rash of pedophile cops being prosecuted out of police departments. There's cops who get molesting kids. Eventually, some of the kids turn on them and turn them in, and then they get prosecuted. And uh, a lot of the time, when I come across like these videos that they're trying to tote, like what a great job the police are doing, you know, breaking people's heads and you know, shooting people dead and all this. Um, yeah, with the the war on uh, victimless criminals. Um, I don't know when I come across these videos on the internet, you know, trying to like say that you know, oh, you know, the 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 present police state is great. I decide that uh, I I'm gonna post some knowledge on what's really going on with the cops there. And so I compiled this list one day. It just took me like 20 minutes or so. And I've been using this list, although if I go out there and do a new search, I'll find a bunch more pedophile cops. Uh, new, new instances of uh, pedophile cops being busted. Pedophile cop. Busted September. Try to nail this down to even, yeah, just this last month. Cop busted with 180 bags of heroin. I am having less trouble dealing with resident pedophiles blathering. I don't know what that's all about. Well, it doesn't look like there was any in September. There's one here in... February 2012, New York Police Department pervert arrested for having a stash of child pornography was arrested and charged. There probably was one in September, and they just haven't, um, you know, they, they don't publish it so that you can find it real easily. That's what I've found. Uh, but I've also found that if I go through all of the pages on the search result for pedophile cop busted that I'll find at least one on each page of the results and there's always this there's always like two million results and on each page of the results I'll find at least one article which details how cops are molesting kids 184 people arrested, 230 abused children taken to safety. I was saying they were busted by cops. Uh, that's one in the articles that I already have. Eight arrested in pedophilia probe. Man takes down a pedophile police officer at a festival. This is 2012 news. Oh, uh, they're talking about Scotland. Pedophile and child porn law enforcement agents. Pedophile cops. Pedophile cops, district attorneys, and judges. Pedophile and child porn law enforcement agents, 2010 through 2012. Across the country, states general or state attorney generals are demanding that online classified websites like Backpage.com and others shut down their adult service ads. According to the letter being sent to Backpage, more than 50 cases of trafficking or attempted trafficking of minors have been filed in 22 states. The cases listed below of pedophile cops, district attorneys, and judges is just from 2011, over a hundred cases. For the letter notes, these are only the stories that made it into the news. Many more instances likely exist. So from 2011, 
There's 100 cases. There's only 50 states in America. Yeah, and they're saying that they, um, yeah, there's, there's a lot more that's going on. You know, of course, you know, when you see a cockroach, yeah, there's a thousand more behind the wall. So, yeah, that they, you know, that they bust a hundred pedophile cops. Indecent liberties with child. Two females, 14 years old. Sheriff's Deputy, Sam A. Bowman. Child sexual abuse. Where was that? On the top up here. Okay, Deputy, Richmond, Virginia. Anyhow, you get the idea. You know, the, the cops are massively pedophile, and they're being put onto this by the pedophile billionaires. And uh, the, uh, the network of pedophilia extends into the Pentagon. And uh, the CIA was, was a pedophile racket under George Bush Sr. There was this thing going on at Boys Town Orphanage that the, the boys of Boys Town, the orphans, were being used to, uh, to blackmail high-level politicians in the United States. Barney Frank is one. Uh, they, uh, they gave testimony to say that they were invited or that they were attendees at parties where the principal invites were uh, senior-level politicians in the United States and industrialists, like the billionaires that own the industries. Yeah, um, under Hoover, when Hoover for 50 years was the head of the FBI, uh, he was keeping extensive blackmail files on all of the, the Washington politicians. That was like the primary job of the FBI, was to maintain the blackmail files on the politicians. And that's what they were investigating, was the crime of the politicians, but they weren't revealing it. They would just maintain a file of all the crimes they were committing. And uh, they would hold them in line with these, uh, with the record of their crimes. So apparently, you know, that, that same system has been applied to policing. That the police have now fallen under this, under the same blackmail scheme. And you know, this, this, these hundred cops that have been busted, you know, they're they're a hundred out of tens of thousands, if not. A hundred thousand cops who are pedophiles or in some way criminally complicit in the racketeering of the billionaires. You know, whether they be shooting steroids, which is another big one that's been in the news a bunch, that um, the, the cops are massively shooting steroids and they're all getting like three, four times the size of an average man. You know, even the female police officers are twice the size of an average man. It's ridiculous. Anyhow, um, yeah, so the cops, are, they're massively pedophile. And then I came across this graphic today, and it immediately made sense to me. What's happening to these one out of three children that when they run away, they are lured into sex trafficking. And, um... This was posted by one of my friends. She's always posting the Amber Alerts. Every of the... Uh, every of the people that... Uh, that she sees is reported as... as or all of the children. It, she's actually... She, she does pretty good in posting all of the... Uh, like, women who, who uh, wind up missing. But she posts them all uh, on Facebook, and I I check out what she's posting on on my feed, and this is something that she posted today. The U.S. Justice Department reports over 2,100 children go missing a day 
equaling approximately 800,000 reported missing every year. An estimated one out of every three children that run away is lured into sex trafficking within 48 hours of leaving home. Now, what's happening here is the children go missing. The parents probably call the police within 12 hours. You know, whenever it is they realize that you know, their child is not where their child is uh, supposed to be, they call the police. And then the police, this pedophile racket, sex trafficking, they put their thugs in whatever criminal organization, whatever local gangs they're connected to, they put them on to finding the, the runaway children. You know, they'll give them whatever hints and clues they need to, to go to the area where these, where these kids might be and you know, uh, tell them what they look like and um, you know, give them a profile and then the, you know, to abduct them or to bribe them into you know, going about uh, you know, some type of sex work and um, you know, possibly, uh, possibly they just find them and then offer them place to stay or something like that and maybe they they find them offer them drugs but you know, very obviously it's being coordinated for it to be one out of three children that are reported to the police as missing that one out of three is then recruited into sex trafficking you know there's there's just no other way that could possibly happen other than for it to be attributable to the pedophile crony network. All these cops that are getting busted. On sex or you know pedophile sex charges. I don't even think I saw any in here that were for uh, for just uh, child pornography. Oh, okay, there's one. I was gonna say, but um, yeah, they they get busted for child pornography, pretty big too, and yeah, that speaks to their being uh, in contact with these with these networks that are taking the child pornography photos. And then, you know, this is pretty typical right here, that they do both. That they not only possess child pornography, but they're also molesting children. Yeah, cops in America, they are a mess.